commencement speaker and an honorary doctorate recipient, Katie Sullivan. <laughs> Katie earned her BFA in acting in Webster's Conservatory of Theater Arts in 2002, graduating with department honors. She is an award-winning television and stage actress, producer, and writer, as well as a four-time U.S. champion Paralympic runner in the 100 meters. Sullivan was born a bilateral trans transfemoral amputee, missing both legs through her femur bones. At the London 2012 Paralympic Games, she set a new American record of 17.33 seconds in the 100 meters, finishing sixth in the world. with fellow Webster alumna Becca Flynn White. The two produce online comedy content, short films, and are developing a comedy, Legs, based on their life experiences. <laughs> Sullivan was among the 2015 fellows in the Producers Guild of America's Power of Diversity program. She received the Young Alumni Award from Webster in 2011 as well. Most recently, she starred in and received awards for her performance as Annie in the 2018 Pulitzer Prize winning play, Cost of Living at Manhattan Theater Club. Again, I will direct your attention to watch this video for more on Katie. Family life was pretty normal besides the fact that uh, I was a little kid who had a disability. My mom said, what's going on? Where's the baby? And my dad said, she's fine. She's healthy. Uh, she was just born without the lower halves of her legs. Uh, to which my mom responded, that's all going to be my kid. <laughs> so I had a tremendous fortune to be born to a set of parents that didn't see my physical circumstance as something that was wrong or bad or to be ashamed of. Katie is the bravest and, and most positive person that I know. I'm just amazed, you know, every day how she's able to sort of infuse everything she does, everything she is, every place she goes with such a light of positivity and glow about her. When I think of Katie, I, I think of her tremendous uh, intelligence. I think of her spirit, her strength, and her talent. We were just captivated by that energy, the spirit, and the talent that was inherently with her. And um, so we were fortunate that she chose Webster. She's generous. Um, she has a maturity about her that was apparent even as a student. Um, and she's funny. And that, to me, is really important, especially in a tough business like being an actor. Uh, one of the great things about being a teacher is that you get to meet a lot of dynamic, promising young people and you get to be part of their journey for a very short period of time. With Katie, this was a fascinating thing to watch and to bear witness to. Katie was one of those kids who exuded, I'm gonna figure this thing out. I'm gonna figure out this acting thing. And she puts that into everything that she does. She puts her entire being into every endeavor that she tasks herself with. And she does it with such positivity that it kind of infuses the work that she's done. Well, it's not until you sort of go out in the real world and you sort of notice not only the belief that the faculty had in me, but then aiding me to be successful. I think Katie never met a challenge she didn't like or that she didn't meet. I had no idea that I was an athlete. I had never run before in my life. It took me a while to sort of figure out the mechanics of running, I literally had a hard time putting one foot in front of the other quickly. My brain was telling my body what it wanted to do, but my muscles were like, we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so I sort of jump on each foot twice, and my prosthetist was like, that's not running. And I was like, I know, but I have no idea how to communicate to my body what I'm asking it to do. I turned out to be fairly quick. I ended up representing the United States at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. 
the way that she approaches her career is don't just look at me as an actress with a disability, look at me as a storyteller and a performer first. Her journey uh, with cost of living from New York to Los Angeles to London um, has been an amazing story. You know, she once told me that she took the part in cost of living because it scared the hell out of her, and that's how she knew that she needed to do it. And that's the mark of a, of a true artist. I think it's where we grow, is, is those moments when we step outside of our comfort zone. I met Katie at an alumni event, and right away we both knew that we had to find a way to work with each other. And at some point realized um, that we were waiting for someone else to give us permission to be creative. So I ended up casting her in a play called A Piece of My Heart. She's a nurse, and a military nurse, and she's going from bed to bed, and each patient is just worse than the next, and you know, I'm giving her notes at the end of the night, and I said, you know, Katie, I need you to run, Katie. I need you to run from bed to bed to bed. I need you to get there fast. And she just looked at me, and she was like, you do realize I don't have legs, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, right, because I wasn't paying attention to her legs. I was paying attention to this incredible performance she was giving me. And we had both gone Webster, so I knew that she could handle what I was about to say, and I was like, well, look, Sullivan, hit your mark. So, and, and I knew that that was the beginning of a very wonderful working relationship. Katie is who she is, and she doesn't try to hide it in any way whatsoever. When she walks across the street, she stops traffic. I mean, people stop her and want to know her story. I, mean, I remember the story she told me when she ran the Paralympics, and she had someone come up to her, who was another athlete, and she was like, you are the reason that I am here. She goes, I did not know two years ago or whatever that I could do this, but I saw you running and I said, oh my God. It's incredibly humbling to be a, a source of um, inspiration to a younger generation of women that, that are gonna see the possibilities in their life in a different way because I live my life the way I do. At the same time that she's also a remarkable representative of uh, people with disability and the fact that they can achieve their goals. And one of the things you would want in a commencement speaker is somebody who's going to set a high standard for students to emulate. And if anybody can set that standard, it's Katie. We are proud to your devotion to others, to living the Webster mission and vision. I think Katie is, is so richly deserving of this honor because of who she is and what she's done. She's accomplished great things. She's a tremendous role model for any Webster grad and for any grad anywhere. Whether it be Paralympics, whether it be uh, writing a new script, whether it be getting into a new play, singing a song, whatever she's putting herself into. <laughs> when she accomplishes something amazing. It's just what she does. <laughs> Katie is resilient, she is a strong woman, she is a person with a tremendous sense of humor, and her story inspires. That's why it makes sense for Katie Sullivan to deliver the 100th commencement address. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the honorary degree and the fact that you're going to be a brilliant commencement speaker. I look forward to Saturday afternoon. Huge congratulations, sweetie. I love you very much. You're the best. On behalf of Webster University, congratulations, Dr. Katie Sullivan.